Hey, what's up? So, I'm kind of in the middle of a transitional period in my life where I am now holding a job and it's uh, something I wasn't used to, the lifestyle that uh, it requires going to work every day and doing what I do, which is a cashier. Caused me to have a lot of emotional and physical changes and it's just a lot for me to do and that's the reason why I don't post so frequently but regardless I think it's well time that I talk a little bit about <coughs> what I'm doing and where I'm planning on this all heading you know that being my YouTube channel my writing my mind really um, and it's going towards a um, piece of writing um, that may or may not potentially become something like a movie, which I plan to do myself. And it's something that comes naturally to me, and it's a um, very arcane subject of... Uh, the lifestyles of aristocrats, um, you know, people who used to live in mansions and drink tea and have maids. Listen, the reason I come off so retarded in English is because <clears throat> English is not a very good language, especially for someone who communicates motions the way I do. But I believe in the last video I made about Clockwork Orange, um, which is heavily inspired, heavily inspires my work. Um, I'm really not from this time period. I don't know where my soul's been, but I just feel very connected to different eras. Um, different people, different things than what I look like I belong in. Which is, I don't know. I don't think other people even know where I belong in society. And me trying to figure this all out is doing everyone a favor. So here I am telling you. This is who I am. Um, in some ways, I'm not really concerned about people really knowing because I'm not doing anything with my stuff that's gonna really expose myself. I, I'm not doing this for the fame. If I was, I wouldn't smoke on videos. I wouldn't do certain things, say certain things. I would promote myself more, which I purposely don't because, you know what, whoever stumbles upon me, that's for them to know, but I don't plan on being, you know, in the mainstream by any means. Because I think privacy is something that shouldn't be really tampered with. I mean, you could cleverly do certain things, but... I really value anonymity. But those who do get to know me, you know, you get the front rows tickets. Simply for the fact that most people wouldn't be able to handle knowing certain things that I talk about. They wouldn't understand why I s come to certain reasonings about things and how I'm able to get so far with it because it's being an outsider and most people are stuck inside the loop.
but yeah, my um, my book is about sort of a bunch of things, but it's, right now I'm trying to stick to one version of the plot, which is somewhere like in the uh, crime and punishment where um, the main character is in a very distressed state, um, cramped up in some kind of very inhospitable attic apartment, and they're just, their inner state of mind is so messed up. And their physical room is a reflection of that. You know, I think that someone's living quarters says a lot about them. Yeah. Not only do we have souls, but Inanimate objects have souls, and there's certain things that you can feel from a certain environment, a certain house. They each have their own vibes, and if you're acquainted with it, you could really get to know some things about life. You know... Ghosts are not only very real, but they're very much a very real part of our lives, and they're everywhere, truth be told. They're so, like, the our understanding of ghosts is so rampant to the point that we don't really understand the whole system of ghosts. It's all just a big unit of ghosts. You just gotta understand what the ghosts would possibly be in our framework of mind of it. <sighs> what is a soul? I mean, can you genuinely answer that? Can you genuinely describe what physical part of life is a soul? I mean, no, you can't. And that's what all the books of alchemy are. So if you are trying to look for answers, that's the route you go to. Because they're the only people talking about it. Everyone else just simply ignores it. And ignorance, I tell you, is so cleverly misleading. Ignorance is the master manipulator. If you don't say anything about it, you would never know anything about it. And that's why it's important to communicate and not be dishonest about it and bring those certain uncertainties up. Don't just leave them. Because there's just... You can never really be fully prepared what life has to throw at you, but... Understanding the forces makes you able to do things that are normally impossible and you know that's what life is about it's about doing the impossible because life is hard life is very very hard and I think everybody knows that for a fact whether you're happy 
or depressed in life. You don't get what you are emotionally without working on yourself. And we're all disturbed in one shape or form. Now, I'm running out of video space, unfortunately. I don't have very good conditions, but I'll talk to y'all later. And I hope someone found this video informative, entertaining, etc. Peace out.